Hello, Internet. Welcome back to our... It was the golf scenario that we started in. In the last episode, uh, you know, it's been quite a while since I played. I don't recall what we were doing. I do remember we looked at Spears, which I complained about. And then um, we kind of established that, like, the copper spear would be a nice little thing to have. But we need to source some copper. Someone did tell me that we can obtain probably the copper we need just from refrigerators and sinks. Uh, whichever one has the tubing should provide us with copper enough for making a spear. I've never done that, so we will probably look into that here today. We are in moderate pain. I see in our message log we just staunched uh, a bleeding wound. So that is something. Uh, I'm guessing we were out looting and things. Which is something we probably want to keep doing. I, you know, I know we we end up doing that a lot for for many episodes in a row, but it really is very essential in the early game. Where is my unsorted pile? Is the next question. Unsorted is directly here. Let's drop some of this gear. It looks like we were picking up clothing. Why was I picking up clothing? Was there a reason for that? No, it's just miscellaneous good stuff. Like, the hard hats might be better than our bike helmet. Leather gloves are just nice to have. We currently have golf gloves. Um, and this is the first time playing since the protection change. So, if you haven't noticed that, um, protection values in Cataclysm changed recently. They are decimal points now instead of whole numbers. So, most things, like a pair of socks, have had their protection values reduced significantly. So... That could be an issue for us because we don't have any real proper armor. I mean, we do have the neoprene, I guess, but that's really the only armor item other than our helmets that we've we've found. So that's um, definitely something to keep an eye out for for proper armor. Let's uh, take off our. Let's pick up the hard hat and let's compare. Didn't we grab an army helmet somewhere? We have a motorcycle helmet. Okay. Let's um, compare the arm, the bike helmet to the hard hat. See which one is superior. They are both plastic. Um, eight protection on the bike helmet. They are identical in regards to protection values, but the hard hat covers 5% more, which means that's 5% more likely to take a blow for us rather than our head taking the damage, which is actually pretty good. So I think we will swap to the... Hard hat here. We will take off our bike helmet. Wear the hard hat. I am simultaneously excited and worried about playing Cataclysm again. It's been kind of a really rough re week, uh, which I'm sure we're going to talk about here. Um, but for now, let's start looking. What are we wielding? We're wielding a quarter staff. That's good. Quarter staff, one of the best early game weapons in the game. We do need to replace our hoodie. Do we have? Let's sort our items. Do we have any torso armor? No. Do we have any good torso clothing? Um, what are we wearing under? We are already wearing a compression top, so that is a little bit of added protection. Um, I mean, really, any jacket will be acceptable. We did have this duster that we were con contemplating putting on. I don't remember where we landed on that. And why aren't we wearing the corset? We were previously. Why did I take off the corset? Were we hot, probably? I don't know why I would have taken that off. It conflicted with the compression top, maybe. The corset is better, though. Um, but let's not let's not focus on that. Let's just look for getting some torso armor on the outside, like a jacket or coat. So we have the sleeveless duster, which you know will reduce the protection on our arms from the hoodie, but is ultimately going to be more protection on our torso and legs so let's let's wear this sleeveless leather duster i'm sure that's a fashion statement somewhere but let's lose the hoodie wear the sleeveless leather duster so now our concern becomes our arms but we do have the arm guards so that's something at least but we're gonna have to be a little mindful that we don't lose our arms here but the, the duster is an overall improvement for our torso, so I think that is the right call. So let's unload our hoodie. Can we use it from the unload menu? It doesn't look like I'm not seeing a hoodie here. 
I am seeing a hoodie, I'm just blind. Unload the hoodie, <laughs> drop the hoodie. Sorry, again, every time I take like a week off of recording and I come back, I always feel so out of it. Let's eat some aspirin to soothe our injuries a bit. And we're full, but we're thirsty. Let's go hunting for some copper. Yeah, so the last week has been pretty rough internet. Not gonna lie to you, it's been uh, it's been a tough one. I was very sick last week. I think in the last episode I said something like, oh, I'm recovering from being sick. And I had no idea how sick I was gonna get the next day. Uh, and then was I was extremely sick. Anything of value in here? No, smash this. Definitely take the rubber hose. So we got copper tubing and copper wire. And my guess is that you can butcher one of those at least for chunks of copper of some sort. Let's drop these. Butcher. We can butcher the wire, but not the tubing. Copper tube. Um, why, why can't I take you apart? If you're made of copper, butcher is usually the way to get the component part for something like that. Let's try disassembling it. Copper tubing, disassemble. You need a tool with hammering of one or more. Okay, well that's promising. That that at least means it's probably harvestable. So let's uh, grab a hammer here. I think we have one at this point. So I got really sick, um, and then just kind of over the weekend, I I don't. I mean, I don't even know how to talk about it. So I and then we had a snowstorm and it was like really bad. So the last couple of days have been the worst part um, of the last like week. I uh, went out to shovel snow. We had a big snowstorm, which is, we really don't have a hammer. Of all the kitchens we've searched, we never grabbed a hammer. There's a hammer right here. Okay. Uh, so we had a snowstorm, so I was shoveling and whatever. And you need a hot plate. Why would I need a hot plate to smash a copper tube? Like, honestly, that shouldn't even be a hammer thing. That should be, like, um, maybe not bolt cutters, but, like, you know, pliers or, or anything that would be used to cut the metal. I, I'm not that big. I'm not that upset over the hot plate thing um, because I think a fire will suffice for that purpose. But uh, the hammer, I'm a little baffled by. Like, if we're cutting this down into component parts, you would expect a cutting item or a pliers or something to bend that metal and, and work it loose. Um, from from itself break it into pieces activate our lighter and That should do it if it requires a hot plate specifically. That would be very odd Dispose of the quarter staff you drop your copper. Okay, so we got proper copper how, proper copper How much um, do I need for a copper spear? Oh Why don't I have is it not copper spear? Why don't I have the copper spear? Was it removed? <laughs> um, why why wouldn't I have that recipe anymore? I I did have no maybe I didn't maybe we were we were looking at the item browser. Well now I have to know what skills I need. I had assumed that it would be a auto learned recipe because we it's it's literally just a spear. It's not anything exceptional or crazy hard to craft. Okay, Fab 3 is not terrible. Um, I guess we're shaping this copper into a spearhead, which would require basically smithing and stuff. Is It falls under fabrication. So I think that's pretty reasonable. Copper is an easy thing to shape, more or less. I think 3 is reasonable. So let's. Um, we're going to need to grind up to 3, and we're going to need a little bit more copper. So we're going to head back out to gather more copper. But that's good news. So that, that actually makes the copper spear really attainable, which is nice. So let's go smash some more refrigerators. Anyway, shoveled some snow, everything was fine. And then he, the other day, my back just started to hurt um, quite a lot. And I assumed it was from shoveling snow. Uh, and then it really came to a head yesterday. And it was so bad, like it was just, you know, a lot of people say things like, oh, it, it was constant pain, but they don't mean it was constant. Usually they mean like, oh, yeah, it hurt, and then it would stop, and then it would hurt, and then it would stop. It wasn't like that. It was literally constant. I felt 
there was never a moment of relief with the back pain and it started to get worse and worse to where I was really struggling to stand up, walk, sit in this chair actually was incredibly painful. So I just spent most of yesterday laying on my back, like just literally just on my back staring at the ceiling because it was the only position I could get in that didn't hurt my back. Just laying in bed, you know, um, which was really not fun. Fire is still going, so this should be easy enough. Um, and, uh, and then it just went away and now I feel fine. Like it's not bothering me at all. Like I thought I was going to go to the hospital. I didn't know what to do. I was like, if I go to the hospital, how are they even going to help me? You know, people go and fake stuff all the time for pain meds. So they're probably not going to give me any real pain medication. Um, you know, what are they going to give me muscle relaxers? I don't feel like it was my muscles. It was like, it felt like my bones, which I know is a weird thing to say because you have no idea really, but uh, I didn't think it would help at all. And I was like, do I even go to the hospital? You know, it's like a global pandemic at the moment. Maybe maybe going to the hospital, not the right decision to make. Um, so it was just a really kind of weird place to be. And then I went to work and, you know, sitting in my car last night actually was fine. Like that's when I started to feel like I was recovering. So like two o'clock this morning, I started to feel, it still hurt, but it was like way more manageable. Um, and was not like a super extremely painful, no, stop because we should put the fire out. I don't need the fire right now and we're wasting wood. Now we'll go back and work on the craft. And we're just looking to get to, uh, fab three, which I think we may have gotten when I wasn't paying attention. Fab two, 53%. Okay. So it's going to take a little bit more time grinding. Where is my food? Let's eat some food. We do have crab cakes, uh, which are a recent addition to the game. Um, I believe we talked about in a previous episode. Eat some crab cakes. Why not? And we do need something to drink. We're very thirsty, which I guess is this pile. Nope. Where's my beverages? Down here, we'll have some milk, I guess, for extra calories and whatnot. No, don't force yourself to drink. And we are still thirsty. That's not great, but we can go back to working on fab. To make another 15, why not? We are using a lot of planks, but we're in a neighborhood where gathering wood is super, super easy. And, oh, we still have quite a ways to go. Okay, make some more. And yeah, so the back pain is gone. Like I can still feel it if I bend my back a certain way. It was very high on my back. It was like between my shoulder blades, which is also unusual. Usually I get um, back pain in my lower back from sitting all the time, um, which also I've been more active lately. I've been exercising. I've been standing up a lot, moving around a lot. So, you know, it just surprised me that my back started hurting when I've actually been taking care to you know, try and stretch it out. And, and like, so because I have back pain, sometimes I do yoga. I'm, I'm not a big fan of yoga at all. I'm definitely not a yoga person, but, um, you know, it's basically yoga is just light stretching, which can actually really help when you have like back problems. So I was really surprised to have such significant back problems when I've been, um, largely pretty active. Uh, but anyway, the back pain went away which is just so nice that that is gone. Um, what am I missing? We're missing a fire. Let's start ourselves a fire. Uh, and then last night, I actually, um, basically, so I met with my psych on Wednesday. Not, I didn't meet with, we had a phone conversation, but I had uh, an appointment with my therapist on Wednesday and she really stressed the importance of self-care. You know, I often neglect my, what, you know, they would term self-care, which is like, for me, usually it's like basic stuff. It's like um, making sure you take a shower, you know, making sure that you, you know, eat something. Like those are what are like the most basic elements of self-care for me. We're very hot, but we're about done. So you begin to feel like you're exerting yourself. How weary are we? Lightly weary. And yes, uh, our legs are very hot and our torso is very hot. That would be a product of the sleeveless duster would be my guess. Yeah, 30 warmth uh, certainly certainly will make you warm. How are we doing? Uh, anything conflicting? Okay, the strapped layer. Other than that, we're looking pretty okay. It's just the strapped layer on our torso is giving us a little bit of extra points. We are getting weary 
And we did heal slightly, which is interesting. Um, I don't know when we last slept, so I don't know how quickly we're going to be getting tired. I would like to loot a little bit. Uh, so we're going to venture out. I guess we'll take the spear. I, I don't even remember the stats for the spear. 6 and 20 with a plus 1 to hit. That's pretty good. The quarterstaff does better against armor and is overall better damage and to hit, so its DPS would be better. But we can't kite enemies with a quarterstaff, so we will take the spear for now, I think. Just leave our, our quarterstaff behind. Um, and then yesterday, and this is the part that's a little bit um, difficult to talk about, mostly because I'm embarrassed, I guess, uh, and kind of ashamed of, of myself. Um, but I'm having another health issue, which is an ongoing health issue that I've had off and on for a long time. And it is becoming more serious, basically, last night, um, as part of my self-care with my, you know, after talking to my shrink, she really stressed, you know, I, that I work too much. I spend too much time doing YouTube stuff and which to you, it might not seem that way because I don't produce that much content, but I really do spend almost all my free time working in some capacity. And she was really stressing, you know, how important it is to take time for myself and work on myself and make sure that I'm doing okay. Uh, and so, you know, over the last few days, I've been trying to make more of an effort to, to do those self-care things, which included something like, well, like I cut my hair, this week, um, I shaved my beard this week. I mean, I didn't shave. I took a, 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 a hair clippers to both and just, oh, what am I, what am I doing? I'm not kiting them. What am I, I'm not thinking clearly. We need, we now, we have a, a bite wound, so we have to go address that. Also should probably not be running. So let's go back and address our bite wound and pay more attention. Murder, that's, that's what you gotta do, pay more attention. Um, so I'm taking care of myself a little bit more, which is, you know, basically just self-care stuff, hygiene, making sure that I eat proper meals, uh, you know, a little less caffeine, a little less sugar, that kind of stuff. Um, but in doing so, I, I came across, I, it's so hard to talk about because I don't want to tell you, to, to be honest. Um, but like, I have an issue that I noticed is getting more is getting worse and it's a pretty serious issue or it can become a pretty serious issue um, like growing up I had a friend whose dad died from this um, which you know he always because this has been a long-standing issue with me and it's just something that uh, I dropped it on the wrong pile okay I don't care um, and it's just kind of was a, a long-standing issue with me that I've, I've dealt with off and on for a long time and I have some symptoms of it getting worse. And I am concerned. Uh, I'm, it is not an emergency type situation. Uh, you know, it's, it's currently as I record this, it's Friday. It's not something that I need to go like now to, to take care of. But it is something that probably next week uh, I'm going to get in to, to speak with a doctor. And from there, it's probably going... I mean, I don't know. I'm just spiraling a little bit mentally I think what it will turn out to be is like a really minor surgery is is my expectation something like in and out surgery where it's really not like a huge recovery time or anything like that but it I do think that it's getting to the point where surge it's so I don't know how to talk about it I don't want to talk about it really but I just wanted to tell someone because it's kind of scary and I don't know I've never it, like it's clearly escalating and I'm worried about my my health um, and I, I don't really know how to talk about it in a way without explaining what it is because again it's embarrassing and kind of uh, shameful it's I don't know anyway let's not talk about it I guess but I, I have something that it seems to be escalating and is a negative health situation and I am concerned about what's going to happen exactly 
and I don't think I'm going to die from it. Like I, like I said, I had a friend who's who, when I was a teenager, you know, we would play like Gears of War and stuff together. And I would talk about my issues because I've always been someone who, as you know, doesn't have much of a filter. Um, and he, you know, shared that, that, that this was the same thing that had basically his dad died from because his dad didn't take care of it, didn't address it. So I don't think it's like to the point where I'm going to die. I don't, I don't feel like that's, that's the concern, but like, it, it's definitely something that has to be addressed probably in the near future. And it, and I've just been putting off for a long time and I don't know, it scared me a little bit to, to find physical symptoms of it escalating you know when it's something that you you know spend okay we don't have to talk about it i don't know how to talk about it am i crouching i am crouching don't crouch anyway so i'm not doing super great just from like a mental perspective because it's very kind of scary and and depressing and like oh things have gotten so bad and and you know why haven't you taken care of this for so long and and you know i don't know just not doing super great, you know, and, and stuff with my brother is always weird and I never know how to feel around him and the household is just kind of tense, like he's doing so much better, oh, of course, of course there's a Triffid, I haven't seen a Triffid in like a year of playing Cataclysm, where there's one there's more, so that's not great, let's have a look here, let's pop up to the road. See where there are triffids. So yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know really how to talk about it. I, I just feel like I like talking about things because I always feel like I'm very isolated and I don't have a lot of people to talk to. I did talk to my family member about it today for a little while um, and what the next steps are. And, um, you know, she had dealt with something similar in her youth. And she was talking a lot about, you know, getting surgery, but I don't know. You saw me already, huh? So they have pretty good vision, I guess, because they're so tall. Creeping animate plant growing as tall as a moose. It has a single bark covered stalk supporting a flowery head with a paralyzing sting concealed within. Yeah, so if you don't know Triffids, they're basically plant monsters. Um, and just like a lot of these special enemies in Cataclysm, they do tend to ruin the game, in my opinion. So kind of like fungals, fungal monsters, uh, kind of like ants, things like that. Usually what slime pits, things like that. When you find an area that is dominated by them, usually it means you just have to pick up and move because you're never going to really deal with them. Uh, you can deal with them, but it's work and I'm not going to do that. So I don't really want to live here anymore, which is, again, absolutely infuriating. Everywhere we go, we had the graveyard, we had, um, what was up here? The park. You know, it just seems like everywhere I go, there's some big horde of horrible things I don't want to deal with. Which I totally get is like the point of Cataclysm is that, you know, everything is kind of terrible. But I just don't want to deal with them. I guess we'll fight the Triffid. I haven't, I have no idea how tough they are. I haven't really been near one in a long time. Oh, you're trapped in a car, huh? I was going to kill it. I think they drop food if you kill them. But uh, I really don't want to deal with Triffids. Uh, I'll try to put on screen, I do have a, uh, the book cover, I think. I saved the book cover of the book that this was originally based on. Triffids or a thing, I think it's called The Night of the Triffids or something like that. I'll try to throw it up on screen. But yeah, plant monsters, that's not great. Anyway, so stuff in my house is weird. I don't know how to feel. I don't, I don't really know what to think or do anymore. I always feel so hopeless. But the reality is you just take things one day at a time. Like like I said, it's the weekend. It's not going to get addressed um, today. I'm guessing if I call about it on Monday, I actually have an appointment on Monday to take care of something else. But if I call on Monday, I can probably get in, you know, that week and then we'll go from there. I can't imagine. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being depressed and sad, but I can't imagine this goes away. I think that no matter what, it's going to end with some small surgery. So I don't know what to think, but 
yeah, I'm I'm just a little concerned, and it, you know, it's just things have been so bad lately. Seems like every <laughs> seems like every week some terrible thing is happening. You know, it started with uh, all that stuff with my brother, and it snowballed into just me not doing very well and being depressed, and and I just always feel like no matter what I do, it seems like there's just another terrible thing on the horizon. Put this fire out. And then go back to reading. I'm gonna raise survival. I can't think of what else to raise. We are getting a little weary, and that Triffid is going to block off part of town, so I don't see a reason for us to go over there. Let's raise some tailoring as well. Things have just been up in the air. It seems like uh, you know life is always throwing one terrible thing after another at you. I know that some of that is my depression, but also some of it is just realism. Ignore. Okay. Come inside and we'll start reading by, we have a lamp. How do you, I never use candles. Let's, let's use a candle. How do we activate candle? A little, little bit of light there to read by. Oh, actually we should eat and drink something. Candles are very plentiful. I never, I never actually use them. Man, we have a lot of pizza, huh? Did those crab cakes go bad? They did. That's a bummer. That's okay. We'll eat the pizza. They'll last for a couple days. That should be okay. We are, I will say, getting plenty of calories. Like being non-lactose intolerant definitely has led to me having more calories. Oh, I guess the milk spoiled as well. It did. That's also a bummer because that was a lot of calories in quench. We'll just drink some fruit juice. Oh, we're full already. Okay. Go back to reading. You know, I don't know. And I'm a very uh, depressed person. I'm very prone to being depressed, which is something that I'm sure you've noticed in the content. And I try hard to not bring it into the content, but it's so like tightly connected to my personality. Extinguish. You can use a candle as a fire source. That's pretty cool. We're going to eat and drink and take ourselves a nap here. Uh, let's drink first this time so we don't go to bed thirsty. Oh, we're very thirsty. Oh, we're extremely thirsty. My God. Just drank about 10 portions of juice and we're still... Okay, Um, I think bandaging our arms is fine. I don't think we need to disinfect. And one of our body parts did have a bite on it earlier. Which body part is this? So our arm is already disinfected. So the left arm will likely fully heal overnight. We do need more bandages. Um... Do we have any on this pile here? Because I don't think I favorited them. So they may have ended up sort everything. They may have ended up on this pile. No boiled makeshift. No makeshift. Really, no, no bandages. Okay. Uh, well, let's just apply a bandage to our non-disinfected arm. Maybe. We'll go to sleep, I guess. Shut all of our... Shut all of our doors. No reason to make it easy on the zombies if they're going to come at us. Have ourselves asleep. My depression is like, my whole worldview is very dark, so it's very hard for me to keep that out of my content, which I'm sure you've noticed. But, um, yeah, and more and more lately, instead of recording when I'm depressed, like, which historically has made for really bad content, I've just not been recording when I'm really, really bad off, you know? Which I do think is like maybe the right call, although it does leave the channel with nothing for you to watch, which I don't like at all. Um, you know, I, I don't know, many of you probably would never do YouTube or consider doing YouTube. But when you do make content for people, consistency is so, so important. Uh, because people get into that. What you want is for people to get into the habit. I want my viewers to know, hey... Every day of the week, you can show up and there's probably going to be something new for you to watch on my channel. Even if it's very similar to other content I've made, it's something fresh and new and, and you know, hopefully interesting that can you can engage with. So I like having a reliable content schedule and I've really been falling short on that. But I ultimately do think that that's the right choice. You know, what I'm finding more and more is that I feel like I have to make the decision between doing what's right for my mental health or doing what's right for the YouTube channel. And I'm starting to choose more and more my mental health and my well-being over making content, which, again, I think is a good thing. I think that 
historically I've made content where I recorded when I was sad and it just turned into this real snowball of like horrible content. And I think it ruined a lot of my series on my channel, to be honest. There were so many times thinking back that I was really irritable. Like I, I remember um, someone mentioned Tome the other day and I did play Tome on the channel. And I just remember being so irritable because of my personal life that I'm basically just the whole series just angry at Tome. And it just was terrible content. So I do think that it's the right call to not do that. Why don't we make bandages? Because we are bleeding again. Make some bandages. Let's make a whole big batch. Just make 20. Oh, by the way, they expanded the uh, batch crafting menu a while back. And I don't think I've ever mentioned it. So you can batch craft up to 50 items now at once instead of uh, 20. So that's pretty cool. Make a bunch of bandages. And then do we have any water laying around? Nope. Uh, doesn't look like it. I don't even have the boiled makeshift recipe. Oh, right. We ran into this before because boiled makeshift requires, is it first aid one or food handling one? I think it's food handling one, which is really, really stupid. And we talked about why I think that's stupid. So let's not belabor that point. Probably no longer bleeding. Let's grab these. And yeah, I think we'll call the episode here. So anyway, internet. This was my first foray back into creating a little bit of content. Hopefully it went okay. Sorry, I, I don't I don't know how to talk about certain things because I don't want to reveal too much information to you. This comes up from time to time, usually when it's stuff. Usually when it comes up, it's because it's something that could identify who I am, and I, I like to keep the anonymity going on the internet. Um, but also sometimes... Yeah, it is embarrassment, I guess, is mostly what it is. I, I don't, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to be specific. And that's pretty much impossible. So I probably shouldn't even have tried. But anyway, if you're a praying sort, pray for me. If you're, uh, you know, a, a, you know, sending good vibes, that kind of thing, make sure you, you send me some good vibes. Other than that, we'll be back with some more Cataclysm content in the near future. For now, though, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.